Hey gang, this is the Brush Man. We're out here at the Chutes Park in Hermitage, Tennessee. My friend Jim Sales called and said, You hungry for lunch? And I said, Yeah. He said, Why don't you meet me out at the park? I'll pick up a couple of ribeyes and all the fixings and we'll have a little barbecue because it's a great day. How do you pass that up? Well, you don't. So, I'm bringing you with us out to the Chutes Park in Hermitage, Tennessee. B-E-T-B We also have a special salute that we're, uh, Jim brought, picked up some Miller's Light, which is Buster B's very favorite. So we say, Buster B, here's to you, pal. Yep. Mm -mm. I know wherever you are, you're not getting your Miller Light. <laughs> Got my Maiden guitar. Don't tell Tommy Emanuel I have brought my Maiden. Then he'll read it wrong. <laughs> Worry too much about it. Yeah, I wouldn't put this exactly. juice in yet because it'll wilt if you don't eat it within yeah. about five minutes. So don't. Yeah. I'll wait about that. And I always put these in last. Yeah, look at that. Actually, if you want to, what we can do is put that on in there and set it in the free in the cooler, and then it won't wilt. I don't think. Yeah, it'll still will still wilt. Will it still wilt yep. in the cooler? As soon as that dressing hits it, it goes. Should we wait about that too then? Sure, put those on at the very end. Yeah, I'd go ahead and put that in the cooler. That lettuce all getting cold. Then we put the the dressing on at the very end and shake it in that bag really good. Yeah, and then we're ready to rock. Yeah. And then we put that on there at the very end. All this stuff goes in the trash bag. And look what I brought. Uh-oh. Some kicking crab salad. I bet you can't eat that. I'll eat it. You know what I had yesterday? What? That's I have to it. turn this off so I don't get busted. <laughs> Ain't nothing like steak out when you're like this, son, out here in the woods. <laughs> We were way out in the woods, ain't we? There's nothing wrong with steak on my front porch either. <laughs> Be honest with you. Wow, look at that. that oh, that look God, good? yes. <laughs> okay, so that's that. We're going to try to dump them until they don't go out on the ground. Stand aside so we don't get it on your shoes there, pal. Sometimes the colds will get in your sandals. And not very unpleasant. Oh, boy, look at that. Now, let me set this over here where it won't burn nobody. Shit, that's going to melt the camera. <laughs> Just there, as low as it'll go. Let it get real hot. When your grill's dirty, and you don't have no other way to clean it, you can take your aluminum foil, wad it up. Look at that big ass glove, that has a lot to do with things. But you can clean your grill with some balled up aluminum foil to kind of get things going. And then, I have to hand them, the better I like it. Huh. How's that? Good, didn't you get one for you? <laughs> huh. huh. 
What do you think? Oh. Touching myself and meaning it. Oh. <laughs> Looks so good. That's your special rub. Yeah, this is one that we got. Well, it smells good. Yeah, I think it, it's one of my favorite rubs. And believe it or not, it's named after one of them country music singers. Uh, they sell it at one of one of those, you know, country music uh, bars downtown that's named after Josh Aldean or Jason somebody or something. I'll tell you who it is. Here, let's see. Debbie got this from Jason Aldean. Not Josh, but Jason is his name. And he's got a famous southern steak rub that you can get at his rooftop bar. All the new hillbilly singers have rooftop bars. Oh, yeah. I go to all of them except Kid Rocks. Yummy, yummy, yummy crab salad. Little appetizer. <laughs> Cooking a little faster than the other, but that. We're looking at about one, 120. So we want it to be about 145 for you. So we'll see if we can get it that. You know, that looks good already. It's edible, you know, but it, it's. This is our deluxe Caesar salad, fabulous tasting, made by the good folks at uh, Kroger. I think so. Huh. Let's see. Let's see what brand it is, so that we. Oh, it's a Dole. It's the ultimate Caesar. Ultimate. There it is, folks. Ultimate see it. Ultimate Caesar from Dole. Boy, it's really good. It is good, and we made it right here at the picnic table. And Chet, watch. There's a Durg up there. Mm -mm -mm. I'm ready. Big old tomato to eat with it. Goodness gracious, it's good. Oh, I got to get mine over there? I'll get it for you. You ready? No, Are yeah, you, I'm no, ready. I, I, it, all I got to do is dump it out on the plate. Oh. All right, here it comes. I didn't know but what you was finishing your cigar or something. No, no, sure. Here we go. Ready? Oh, hello. Oh, ho, ho. look at that big ass uh, mushrooms. Oh. There's you another mushroom. There we go. Jim, this looks fabulous. Good. Tasty. And I'm hungry by now. You I know? am too. I'm hungry. And uh, this is for all you. People like to write me notes and criticize and send messages about I shouldn't eat meat. Kiss my entire ass. I'm ah. eating meat. Ah. I love you, Jim Sales. Thank you. My pleasure, pal. <laughs> Dig in. I'm going to. Oh, it was good. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is a great park too. Mm-hmm. Very peaceful here. Real nice. It's been quiet, you know, hear the boat now and then. My little song is finished. My little barbecue is through. Don't necessarily mean to sing this song at you or you or you. But if you don't like the way my little song goes, 
That's a damn good sign. I've been tromping on your toes, and that's all. That's all. That's all. The man said that's all. Better change your way of living for the good Lord to say that's all. Oh, brother, that's all. Good barbecue, good barbecue. Yeah. We got play and didn't turn the recorder on until the end. So that's all you get. I'm the brush man and that's all I got. <laughs> BD TV